Hi there, it's Mr Ball from Payfields High School. Today we're going to be having a look at some geography exam practice uh, for you guys to have a go at at home. So the question we're going to have a look at today uh, is this one. It comes from the topic of physical landscapes in the UK, worth four marks. Study figure four, which is a photo of a limestone pavement. Explain how this feature was formed. Some of these words could be used to help you write your answer. Rainwater, acid, alkaline, dissolves and weathering. So the first part of any exam question is to apply the bug technique, okay? Hopefully something that you have all practiced with your teachers in class, okay? The B stands for box, that's boxing the command word. The U for underlining any keywords in the answer. And the G, a really important part, is to glance back or look back at the question regularly as you write. Make sure everything you include is relevant. So we'll start off by putting a box around the word study. OK, you're going to need to look closely at it. Underlining figure four, that's the figure from the question. And I've also underlined limestone pavement. OK, we know that everything we write about in this answer should be to do with limestone pavements. The next place to start applying the bug technique is the question below the figure. You'll see I've put a box around the command word explain. Now, when we see that command word, we should instantly be thinking that we're going to have to give purposes or reasons in our answer. It's not going to be enough just to say what it is, but we will need to go into greater depth giving those purposes or reasons. I've also underlined two parts in this question. Firstly, I've underlined the word formed. So we're going to need to talk about the processes of how this landform has been created. And the other part that I've underlined are those keywords that you could use in your answer. And we'll come back to those shortly. Now, once we've finished applying the bug technique so far to this question, our second stage is to start annotating and using the figure. In an exam, that paper will be yours. So it's a really good idea to think about drawing, scribbling notes all on it. Those aren't going to be taken away when it comes to marking and could help you to build a clearer answer. The first thing I've done on this figure is I've circled the back there where I can see two different things going on. I can see horizontal bands of the limestone rock of this limestone pavement, suggesting to me that this is a sedimentary rock. Hopefully you remember that sedimentary rock is formed when small pieces of rock, known as sediment, settle at the bottom of the ocean. Over time, layers and layers of this sediment build up on top of each other, crushing the sediment below it, compacting it and turning it into this sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is weaker than our other rock types of metamorphic and igneous. That means that it is more likely to be damaged by the processes of erosion and weathering.
What I've also annotated onto my figure is that it is in an exposed outdoor environment. I therefore know it's likely to be subjected to different types of weathering and erosion. Now the next thing I've circled are those blocks of rock that you can see across the image. Now hopefully you'll remember from previous learning in geography that they have a technical name. Those limestone blocks in a uh, limestone pavement are known as clints. Next to those clints, I can see deep cracks between the limestone. Again, hopefully you will remember from your lessons in school that these also have a technical geographical term. These cracks are known as grikes. Finally, I've highlighted an area again in the background of the image where I can see some grass and small plants growing. Those plants and grass, or known otherwise as vegetation, are starting to form in the gaps between the limestone pavement and will have an impact on how it's formed, which we will explain further on. The third part of constructing this exam answer is a really important one for students aiming to achieve higher marks on their questions. It's to consider the vocabulary you're going to use in your answer. To achieve top marks in any geographical question, you are going to need to use appropriate vocabulary throughout your answer. You'll see I've highlighted a number of words across this slide, all of which I will be aiming to use in my answer. We've been given a bit of a helping hand on this question where the question suggests the use of five words already. On top of that, I think it's worth repeating some of the language used within the question to indicate to a marker that you are talking clearly about the question that has been asked. Now we've gone through some of this geographic vocabulary as we've gone through this presentation already. The ones we haven't looked at are those based right at the bottom of the question. Rainwater, acid, alkaline, dissolves and weathering. You should have covered these in class. Remember, things that are acidic will react with things that are alkaline, causing them to break up and dissolve. The process of weathering involves the breakdown of rocks at or close to the Earth's surface. In particular, we would refer to the process in this exam answer as chemical weathering. That's because it involves the chemical reaction between the acidic rainwater and the alkaline rocks to cause that breakdown of the limestone.
Having identified the key geographic vocabulary associated with this question, as you can see on the list on the right hand side of the slide, I now know the sorts of words that I should try to include in my exam answer to achieve those top marks. You should hopefully remember from your class teaching that this limestone pavement will be formed by that process of chemical weathering. The rainwater will become acidic when it picks up carbon dioxide from the air or other sources of pollution. It will then fall upon this sedimentary limestone, which is an alkaline, reacting with it and causing parts of it to dissolve through this process of chemical weathering. It will lead to some of those features that you can see, such as the clints and the grikes, before that vegetation will start to grow within the limestone pavement. Stage four of answering this question is a simple one. It's the timing. We look at this question and can see that there is worth four marks. Generally speaking, in geography exams, you will have approximately one minute per mark. So for this question, you should spend four minutes answering it. You're now ready to give this exam question a go. Pause the video now to give yourself four minutes to try and write an answer to this question using all of those techniques that we have looked at so far. Once you've finished answering the question, we will have a go at looking at a model answer and the mark scheme to see how well you've got on. Here is the mark scheme for the question that you have just answered. You will see that this question is a point marked knowledge question. In other words, you will get one mark for every correct point or even the development of a point that you make. At the bottom, you will see that there is a limiting factor to the number of marks you might achieve in this question. If you haven't clearly explained about the acidic rainwater and the alkaline limestone, then the maximum marks you will be able to achieve is two. Pause the video now and have a read through the mark scheme. Compare it to what you've written. Have a think. How many marks is your answer worth? How much of that mark scheme have you covered? Finally, let's have a look at a model answer. The answer you can see on your screens is worth the full four marks out of four. As you read through the answer, you will see that all those key words, that key geographic vocabulary that we were aiming to use has been highlighted throughout the text. You will see that this model answer clearly gives at least four correct points that explain how that limestone pavement has been formed.
you should notice as you read through the answer that every sentence that has been written clearly links to the question that was originally asked, explaining the formation of a limestone pavement. This indicates that the writer of this answer has used the bug technique very effectively, glancing back at the question regularly to make sure that what they are writing is relevant. It is important when you're answering a question that you don't forget to do this throughout your writing. Pause the video if you need a minute or two more to read through the answer. That brings to an end this short video on how to answer this question on limestone pavements. Remember to use those techniques regularly in other exam answers to keep practicing them and developing them further.